Rejoice before the risen and ascended Lord as we come together to, to worship God this day. Our call to worship from, from living faith. We worship our ascended Lord, reigning in glory and power. Jesus is our high priest and advocate, interceding before the Father on our behalf. Through Jesus, we offer our sacrifice of praise with prayer for all unto the Father. Thanks be to God, who gives us the victory in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us pray. O oh Lord, we are so, so glad to be able to come together as a family. And O oh Lord, our God, we pray that this day we will honor this family in the way we offer up worship, in the way we celebrate our life together, in the way we celebrate one another as faithful Christians. And Lord, we pray especially in thanks for those who as mothers have have been there for us and, and for others. We pray for mothers who have mothered their families and care for the community. Lord, we pray for mothers who, having borne no children of their bodies, yet still have borne children in in love and in compassion and understanding and in the work that is done to uplift them. Lord, we lift up in praise those who have, in hearing your good news, have felt compelled to go forth and share it as Christ commanded, that we might enjoy, anticipate the return of our Lord and Savior as we look to the clouds, as we look to the skies, as we wonder at the time of coming. Let us not become fixated on, on that which is past, but on that which is ahead. Let us look to that day and work hard for it in joy and in celebration. Lord, we pray for congregations of your church that are gathering in, in, in difficulty and in struggle, but are still gathering, are working hard, are being as diligent as they can. And Lord, we pray for strengthening of their understanding of their abilities and the use of their resources that they might be uplifted as a congregation and, and encouraged to do the right thing for for service to you and and to encourage and bring the good news to their communities lord we pray for churches throughout the world that are struggling in harsh conditions and especially those that are in the wake of disasters lord that are, are still suffering the effects of harsh storms or earthquakes lord and the natural disasters that are a part of human life on this planet lord we we pray for the state of this planet in in the way that we gather on it and lord we pray that we will be respectful of it and who we gather with lord even as we gather this day we consider those uh, those peoples that have been displaced by the way that we have gone about our living. And Lord, we, we pray for First Nations people that are struggling after, uh, after such displacement, Lord, that, that we might reconcile, that we might work with them to, to build up a better community and a, and a better future and tomorrow and, and, and truly respect one another in the land that you have given us to care for. And Lord, as, as we come into worship, we also recognize that we have done many things that have not only kept ourselves, but have kept others from worshiping you. And we have made people to worship us and our way of living. And Lord, we ask your forgiveness for all the sins that have separated us from, from one another and from you and have, have worked to worked against your good news. Lord, we pray that we will be renewed in truth and uplifted, that we might, in your grace, bring you a praise that is worthy, that is, that is full of joy, and that carries our faith from one day to the next as, as something that builds up and overflows and offers caring and charity and hope to the communities you have called us to serve. All this and the prayers of our hearts we offer up in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And we live in this assurance that even as we are lifted up, so Christ is, is lifted up above us and we look to his return that we might in his in the celebration of his coming be prepared for the kingdom of God and as the people of the kingdom of God continue to offer praise and glory in Christ's name. Amen. <laughs>